All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going now to make the other video, the Carmelo Anthony video about him going to the Thunder. If you remember me, I'm the C-Man. I was just here a, a few minutes ago, and now I am back. Why? Because I'm a professional. Professionals work sometimes more than they have to, and that is what I do here on the C-Show. You can see I even put on a new, um, I'll, I even um, changed um, to the shower for the first time, and I, you know, I got a new fresh clothes. Also, it's a different day. No, it's still the same day. I'm just a hard worker. Anyways, um, yes, ladies and gentlemen, I am back again here on the C show tonight, performing twice for all of you. So I just, I, I'm like, I'm like, um, I, 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 I'm like a singer, you know, I just performed and I, I, I just performed in, in Houston and I'm going to San Antonio to perform again. Yeah. Anyway, whatever. Let me shut up. Anyway, Carmelo Anthony. So this man, the whole summer has been trying to get out of New York. He has been trying to get out of New York. Um, he's tired of there. He wants to go win because, you know, um, the best thing he's ever done has gone to the Western Conference Finals back in 2009 and losing to the Lakers. Um, been, up, been to the playoffs a few times with the Knicks, but never did nothing very special. And so this man realizes he, he's like, he only has a few years left. He only has five years at the most left probably. It's like, what, 33? I don't know. But anyway, he feels the pressure that he has got to win a championship. And so he's been trying to get out of New York the whole time. Um, he he made a – because he he has to say if the trade goes um, or not because he has a no trade clause. So, so far, the whole time, the whole summer, he's been talking about going to Houston, Cleveland and Houston. Um, obviously prefers Houston because he, he feels like LeBron James may leave him. So he's trying to go to Houston being – because in Houston, I believe they got James Harden there signed for like the next seven years. So he knows he has, and he has two years left in his deal. So whether he, where he goes, he's there for two years. So that's why the Cleveland thing, other, yeah, cool, LeBron James and everything. But LeBron James is a free agent after the season. So he was like, wait, I might be stuck in New York for two years where LeBron can leave in just one year. So I, that was the whole thing about him not wanting to go to Cleveland because LeBron James left um, the, the next year. And, you know, that's why he was locked in on, on Houston because he knew Chris Paul's there for one year, Bill, um, James Harden's there for the next seven years. So he's like, okay, those two years I have left, at least I got James Harden to work with. And possibly if he had that first good year, we can convince Chris Paul to stay. You know, that was his thought, trying to go to the, the um, New York, excuse me, the Houston. Um, but then um, there was some talk about him going to Thunder. But no, uh, nobody really thought it could happen. The reason why is because both um, Russell West, Paul George, and Russell Westbrook can actually leave after the season. So, um, so that was the same thing. He could just there, there. He's there for two years, no matter where he goes. So he could just same thing as Cleveland. LeBron leaves him. Same thing here. Um, Westbrook and Paul George can leave him, and he can stay there alone. So I'm very surprised that he accepted to go to um, the, um, the Thunder, knowing that for sure Paul George could leave next year. And I believe West was going to actually leave next year, though. Um, so once again, and then he could stay there for uh, at least that other year he had on his contract alone. So I was very surprised that he decided to accept this trade. But I think maybe he believes, you know, a lot of people believe West was going to end up signing the long contract. Um, especially, you know, Sam Presti has done a hell of a job. And, um, you know, what he had to work with of getting both Carmelo Anthony and Paul George in, in like two months, really. In two months, he has gotten Paul George and Carmelo Anthony. With what? With all of, with, I mean, Cantor, all of, all of Depot, Can, Cantor, Cantor, you know, Ernest Cantor, and, and I mean, Payne, whatever the hell his name is. I mean, these are no namers. These are guys that you can see working at um at Chick Fil A or something, or at Kentucky Fried Chicken very soon. Well, he, you know, I'm not trying to be mean, but I mean, it is amazing that Sam Press has been able to turn some of these guys um into um Carmelo Anthony and Paul George. It is pretty amazing. Sam Presti, man, uh, um, an amazing job here by turning those role players into two superstars. 
I don't know how the hell he did it, to be honest with you. That's amazing. And then you put him with a top three player, top five player in the league, and Russell Westbrook, the league, the MVP. I mean, this is already a championship contender. They went from a seven seed to a championship contender. You look at this team, and I think they might be better than Cleveland. If you look at if you really see this team, you can say they're better than Cleveland. Um, because Cleveland, they got LeBron James, Kevin Love, and then what the hell you're working with? You're working with 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 Derrick Rose, who you don't know if you're gonna get for the full season. Isaiah Thomas already talking about him not coming back until February. Um, because he's still dealing with the hip injury. He got hurt last year in the in the playoffs. So other than really LeBron James, Cleveland's not really anything to work with this year. Then, like, you, you look around, I mean, I think we're going to have ourselves a Western Conference Finals this year between the, um, the, Warrior, the, the Warrior and the Thunder, and I believe the winner of that um, Conference Finals will go on to win the championship. I do believe whoever wins that Western Conference Finals um, will end up beating Cleveland and winning the championship this year. I think both of those teams are better than Cleveland. Um, I, 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 I really do not think Cleveland won a championship um, this year at all. The, you look at this team, and the true superstar they got is LeBron James. Kevin Love's another guy who could also be hurt. Derrick Rose, um, Isaiah Thomas. I just don't trust that team. Um, I think they still have enough to get to the finals, but I do not see them being neither um, the Warriors or the Thunder. So I think that we will have ourselves uh, a... Um, a conference finals of um, of the Warriors and the Thunder, and the winner of that conference finals will go on to the Western Conference Finals. Will go on to beat Cleveland in the NBA Finals and be an NBA champion. Um, now let's look at this. Um, who will win between the Warriors and Thunder? From a talent standpoint, let's look at this here. You know, let's look at let's look at the matchups here. You would have, you would have Paul George on Kevin Durant. I like Kevin Durant winning that matchup, um, but I think Paul George could have slowed him down because he's a pretty good defensive player. But at the end of the day, I think I like Kevin Durant winning that matchup. And then you would have a matchup of um, Car you would have a matchup of of, um, of Steph Curry, no Carmelo Anthony. Versus probably Clay Thompson. I on I, I Clay Thompson can slow down Carmelo Anthony. Trust me, Car away with T Clay Thompson can flat out play defense. I I actually like Clay Thompson in that matchup with Carmelo. To be honest with you, I think he can do enough to slow Carmelo down, and I actually like Clay Thompson. Um, offensively, they would go head to head very nicely. But defensively, obviously, I, I have to go with Clay Thompson with the edge. Um, and then the last matchup, this is finally goes to um, the other side. Um, West Curry and Westbrook. Who wins that matchup? No question. Westbrook would whoop Curry's ass. No question. Just more, uh, uh, just a lot more of uh, of a complete player. He would. Curry will not know whether to shoot him on his watch. He will not know if, if Westbrook's driving to the ram, if he's pulling up from, for, for a jump shot. Curry will not have a chance defending Russell Westbrook. And Russell Westbrook could actually, the, at times, defend um, Curry. He's just more athletic, has faster hands. I think he can get some skills on him. So that's what I, 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 I that would be the, the biggest thing for, for the Thunder, Westbrook. Um, going up against Curry, because I believe that matchup is um, a lot favor for Westbrook. Um, but then the other two, like I said, I think um, I think um, Clay Thompson, you know, would do a very good job of slowing down Carmelo Anthony. And um, you got Andre Kudala also coming off the bench. You could also defend either of um, Carmelo Anthony or Paul George. You know, even Draymond Green. Kevin Durant. I mean, they just have so many ways. They just have so many pieces to throw at you. Where you know, you look at um the Thunder. They just got three pieces. You you three very good pieces. And um, Paul George, Paul George, Russell Westbrook, and Carmelo Anthony. 
those are their big three guys. Very good three guys. But then let's look at the other side. You got Curry. You got Durant. You got Clay Thompson. Dre, um, Andre Iguodala coming off the bench. Draymond Green. Javel McGee has some teams that can play offense. I, I just think, um, now you got Swaggy P. And Nick Jung. Um, I, I think the Warriors will end up winning this. I just think they just have more pieces to work with, more stuff to throw at the um, Thunder. So I do think um, they will end up winning the, 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 um, the matchup. Um, but yes, I, and I believe they will end up winning Cleveland and once again winning back to back championships. I just don't think, um, and that second team, the Warriors have just a better much second team coming coming out of there than than than, than the, the the Thunder. Um, so I still got the Thunder as the favorite to win the championship. Um, although I do think it's going to be a much funner playoff run this time, um, especially when you get to the Western Conference Finals. And like I said, I do believe um, once they get past the Western Conference Finals, that would be it for them. That they will be Cleveland even easier than they did last year. Um, I'm sorry, but I, I, I just don't see enough still in the Thunder to um, throw at um, the Warriors. I'm sorry, but I, I think that the Warriors win the championship. Um, the Warriors are just very good. The only way I see this team um, not um, getting stopped, getting stopped, if it's either. You know, I believe Clay Thompson is going to be a free agent soon. Both um, Kevin Durant and Clay Thompson are going to be a free agent soon. If one of those two leaves, then that's that's the way of slowing them down. But as long as this this team stays together, as long as they all stay together, as long as they all stay together, this team will not be losing. Okay, at least not with this season. Um, we're done. There's not going to be any moves. This is our NBA season right now. Um, this is going to be the best shot um, at, 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 of trying to beat the Warriors. And I don't think they have enough. Um, maybe next year the Lakers. There's talks about damn trying to get LeBron, me even Paul George to go, me even Westbrook. I don't know. But uh, this is a very nice team. I do think the NBA playoffs are going to be a lot more funner this year. But I do think at the end of the day, the Warriors are still the favorite. And this year, unfortunately, I do believe the finals are going to be there even more. Like they're going to be boring than last year because. Now Cleveland, all the guys like LeBron James and a bunch of questions, you know, is Kevin Love going to be able to play the whole season? Is Isaiah Thomas going to be played, going to play? Is Derrick Rose going to be able to play? LeBron James is going out there every night, but he's not going to know who he's going out there with. So I think, and, and, and there's a lot, LeBron is going to be afraid. And so how much is he going to, is there going to be a point where you can get frustrated and throw it away? I mean, I just don't see Cleveland doing it this year. And I, I'm sorry, if our, you know, I, the Warriors are the favorites. I'm very happy. I think, you know, with, with teams fit around the league, I think it will be more competitive this year, not as of, 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 a, of a pie cake for the um, for the Warriors, peace cake, um, however the hell you say that saying, um, pie, easy pie, um, pie walk. Anyways, um, but um, I still don't think they have enough. Um, I feel like the Thunder are, are got better, but then the Cle Cleveland got worse. Cleveland got worse, Thunder got better. That's how I see it. Thunder got th Cleveland got worse, Thunder got better, but at the same time, it's not enough. And then you have the whole problem, the whole question: Is this how long is this team going to stay together with um, with um, both um, uh, uh, Westbrook and Paul George having um, their contracts finished very soon? You know, there's going to be talks the whole season. If they get off this whole start, if it's going to work out, are you already thinking about leaving? You know, I just don't see it working. Same thing in Cleveland with LeBron. The whole season is going to be talked about him um, if he's planning on leaving. You know, that we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, there's a, that, that's the thing with, this, with these moves that happen, that a lot of these guys are on one-year deals. Chris Paul's on one-year deal. Um... Isaiah Thomas is on a one-year deal. Um, Paul George is on a one-year deal. A lot of these guys that got traded to these super, to these super teams on one-year deals. 
where they can just walk out if they just don't believe in it. Like, you know, so that's the only thing I don't like. That yeah, I, I would have rather liked to see free agents um, create these super teams than just players getting traded. Because a lot of these guys are only in one-year deals. And if they're not feeling it, they're just going to walk out. And if, if the, in the, in like in, by February, if they, they, March, we're just not feeling it here. Just, you know, play the whole rest of it, whatever is left, and then we'll leave in the, in, in the, in the summer. I don't know. I, I, I wish it would have been more like signing as free agents than getting traded because they only have like a one-year deal. A lot of these guys on their contracts that got traded. Um, but anyways, that's why I have to sleep for tonight on the C show. I talked a lot tonight. I apologize. Um, but anyways, um, I'm the man that runs the place. I am C and until next time, and until next time, I will see you all later. Um, tomorrow NFL, we'll see what happens. Um, uh, hopefully my Eagles win. Oh my Lord, the Cardinals win. wins. I don't even want to start. Anyways, let me know what you think about this. Um, we're, we're almost here with the NBA, ladies and gentlemen. We're almost here with basketball. Um, it's starting earlier this year. It starts like in three weeks, I believe. It's starting earlier this year because they're trying to avoid that. Um, they don't want to play like five games in seven nights anymore. So the, the season's going to start like three weeks earlier or a month earlier. I'm not sure. But it's starting like in three weeks. So get ready for your NBA season soon. I know it's like fair, super early, like the, the playoffs, the Major League Baseball haven't even started yet. Yeah, but we're we're about we're 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 a few weeks away from the start of the season. And by the way, um, first game for Cleveland against the Celtics and Kyrie Irving. First game for um for the Thunder versus the New York Knicks. How did that happen? I don't know. But that yeah, first game for both first first first, first night and right away facing their former teams, both Carmelo Anthony and Kyrie Irving. Uh, that's weird how that worked out. But um, yeah, I don't. We're we're done here. Everything's gone. What a season. What an offseason. Unbelievable. Um, but yes, ladies and gentlemen, um, that's what I have to say for tonight. Um, until next time, I'm the man that runs the place, and I will see you all later. I thank you for watching this video. And let me let me let me know. Let me shut up. What the hell's happening? Let me let me um let me close this video out. Oh man, what the hell? Did I get enough? Oh. Continue. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, calling it a night here on the CE show for tonight. Uh, I want to thank all my producers. I mean, I want to thank all my fans who watch the CE show tonight, you know. Um, yeah, until next time, I will see you all later.